Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. If what you just saw happens to you, I may have a solution for that. In this video I'll be talking about acceleration and counter steering. Why that? Because acceleration and counter steering don't go one without another. Simply said, you need to fully understand acceleration to understand counter steering. And I'll just try to go through a couple of examples and put it as simply as possible. Without further ado guys, let's get going. And now first example is gonna be what you need to do to kind of understand counter steering and acceleration. First one on the left is slowly building up the power. I've seen a lot of times just people put the power down as you can see on, on the right hand side, which is in kind of demonstration. When you put the power down early, just keep an eye on that. The car keeps spinning and you need to counter steer it to get it back. But sometimes you probably will end up in a spin so what I need what you need to do how to practice this stuff you slowly need to build up the power especially if you're going uphill like I'm doing it now you can see on the left hand side the car is stable and on the right hand side the car just went sideways I completely lost control and there was no coming back from that so one thing I like to do just to keep uh, keep practicing that keep keep you know keep building up that throttle is I like to stop the car now and then now i don't do it quite often but if you're new to this if you're new to gt sport if you're new to racing just keep an keep an eye on the throttle and yeah practice 50 percent 100 percent 50 percent 100 percent and just try to make that feel so you know where the 50 percent for example is where you know where 20 percent is and you will have full control of the power same goes with the braking pedal same goes with any other movement that you do in game but especially when it comes to acceleration this is kind of a most basic things that you can do and benefits from this will be amazing so just tap the car for a few minutes and practice this and you will just see how much of um, movement this will get you over time don't expect that you're gonna be perfect like immediately perfect after you do this one it's gonna take some time but i'm trying to give you a guide how to achieve perfect exits how to achieve uh, breaking points that are always on point how to achieve all of those things that will eventually make you a faster driver so this example will probably show you what i'm talking about breaking okay breaking in a straight line turning point was okay and now i'm looking at the curb the curb is also another reference for acceleration which i always say in my videos and you can see the build up of that power so 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent and 50 percent going in so immediately when i got off the curb and when i reached the 50 percent i knew okay now i can i can start accelerating and this is how you eventually get a better exit better acceleration times and overall this will get you a lot of speed going on and in dailies in just time trial overall and racing in general this can be translated into any other sim any other game or um or just even even real life, I think. But to some extent, don't don't get me wrong. And again, this is a, this is an example of what not to do. And you can see the build up here. And literally here, there was no build up. So 20, 30 percent, and I immediately jump into 70s, 70, 80 percent. This this happens because you really don't have a feel of the brake and you can see i try to counter steer i i kind of knew this was going to happen because i fully understood what happens if i put too much power down so that's why i said in the intro of the video need to fully understand braking uh sorry you need to fully understand acceleration to understand counter steering and all yeah it happens with braking but this is all about acceleration this is another uh, example of what not to do and again trail braking i missed the apex slightly but that's not about hitting those apexes so 20 30 percent and you can see how quickly i'm going on to uh, to fully accelerating out of the corner and i had to counter steer and again this was just an this was just an example to to make you realize how much acceleration is enough in some occasions and i mean it always depends on what you use and which lines you're taking and all of that other stuff this example again another one so another perfect one you can see slowly building up the power so up to 50 percent and then when i reached the 50 percent i upshifted into third got that rotation that i needed got the stability of the car and then really putting the power down and nice and easy through this section this is going to be all about hitting those perfect apexes because i'm trying to achieve your look at this i'm, I'm just trying to achieve uh fully understanding of what i'm saying here and again slow build up there was a fast corner so there wasn't any any kind of uh, 
can you kind of build up in between but this is a slow corner again cutting the curb a bit and you can see the throttle already going in but 10 20 percent up to 50 i'm staying at 50 the car really catches the road it really gets the stability that it needs i don't really have to counter steer because i realized okay if i put the power down to let's say 50 percent i don't need the counter steer I did this track over and over and over again and then I realized that and once you get the feeling you will understand how to counter steer on this track and also it's closely as I said before it's really closely to related to acceleration and that's the most important thing understanding acceleration so you can understand counter steering okay going in here another one slowly building up the power 20 30 percent going on the power you can see staying at 50 I'm really staying at 50 for a long time here. The car really settles down. It catches the grip that it needs. And now fully accelerating out of the turn. Here uh, you don't really have to build up the power because it's a high high speed turn. And on and on and on. So it it's a bit different in, in other classes which I'll show you here. So this is group 4. Uh, I'm using the Veyron for this instance. And you can see the build up is not, not that great because... Um, it's it's a heavy it's a heavy car it has a lot of stability you don't really have to account for that so but i'm still i'm still waiting for let's say 50 percent and then trying to put the power down it's really important so i i just um, i just think i needed to demonstrate this thing because a lot of people just ask me in the comments and uh, in general in in messages just how you how you keep the car on the road how you keep it stable and that's about it and there is no no other magic trick that will just show you okay Okay, you need to you need to do this you'll be initially it'll be just faster once you do that trick it's there is no trick you need to fully understand the, uh, the acceleration practice that keep in mind always keep in mind if you put the power down too much then the car will understeer or oversteer or uh, it won't usually or it won't usually understand but it will oversteer so you need to catch that oversteer and that what happens so just the realization of uh, what I'm saying here. Putting the acceleration pedal down means, uh, in most of cases, it means you need to counter steer it and need to catch the car. How to do it? It's all up to you. There is no clear answer to that. But you can, of course, if you have a Fanatec wheel, if you have a Logitech the G29, it's going to be a little bit different. But if you have, let's say, I have a Fanatec wheel, I knew, okay, I feel it in my wheel and immediate response to that was just keeping the car and keeping my wheel in opposite direction. That's, that is kind of a definition of, uh, of counter steering, but it's, uh, there is all there is to it. So I think the most important thing is to understand really acceleration. That's the only thing you need to understand in here. And the counter steering is just going to become natural over time. And this is pretty much what this whole video is about. It's mostly, mostly um, about explaining how to accelerate. And then the counter steering is going to go. It, it will actually follow the motion that you're getting. So guys, uh, yeah, I think this was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I always try to answer all of my all of my comments, all of the things uh, that are necessary, which I think they are necessary. So, yeah, feel free to comment and feel free to visit my site. I'll be posting a lot of stuff there. And also keep in mind, <laughs> I'm I'm uh, offering coaching to anyone interesting. So, guys, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please, as I said before, please smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys and see you another time. Bye.